continent amid the prevailing economic challenges coupled with the increasing electricity crisis in South Africa, the country's economic freedom fighters held a nationwide protest which brought the country's capital city Pretoria to a standstill. Among other things, the protesters are also demanding that the president uh, or president Sira Ramaphosa to resign and to end the persistent energy crisis in the remote nation where similar anti-government demonstrations were also held in several African countries, including Senegal. Here's more details of that in this report. South Africa's capital, Pretoria, came to a standstill as the economic freedom fighters led a nationwide shutdown. On the eve of Human Rights Day, the opposition party is demanding an end to load shedding and for Cyril Ramaphosa's resignation as president. As far as for service delivery, the services within our country is very bad. We don't have a roads, the security, uh, in terms of the crime, the crime is very high. Sporadic incidents of violence broke out and dozens of arrests were made overnight, but protests mostly remained peaceful amid a strong show of police and army presence. The EFF has vowed to continue to fight if President Ramaphosa defies the call to end his term. We'll continue to intensify our protests. We'll continue to hold them accountable in Parliament and use legislative means and the courts as well. Uh, it's going to be continued rolling uh, protests. Similar protests erupted in Nigeria, Tunisia, Senegal and Kenya over high levels of corruption, unemployment, poverty and growing inequality. There's a growing discontent not just in South Africa but in other nations too. African people want jobs and better lives for themselves and for generations to come.